rides as such. As we see the highlights now. Let's have a look back. It was Inga van der Heiden from uh, Lucinda Brown that got the whole shot through the first corner. We'll probably get a glimpse Oh, we'll see if we get a glimpse of Anna Marie Verst. I think it was before this point that um, Anna Marie Verst had her issue. But right from the off, that first long run, Alvarado showed just um, her intent today. She did. As soon as she hit the front, just, yeah, that slight mistake early on from Brown. We saw a few mistakes early on from her, and then she seemed to kind of uh, get into it. But... Yeah, I don't think she was on the same level as Alvarado today, even without those mistakes. It does take a while just to find your groove again, doesn't it? It does, it does. And we saw on Instagram the other day, she only returned to the cyclocross specific off-road training very, very recently. Probably only had time to do one or two sessions and nothing would have been like this in these conditions. And so, yeah, just takes a bit of time and everyone was making mistakes as we saw throughout the uh, nearly hour of racing. That was costly for, for Marion. I think she had a, there was a moment in that race where she almost was on Zoe. If she'd got that slight bit closer, it might've been different. But the day below to this rider sailing del carmen alvarado and to, to not have been off the podium yet this season as well is incredible yeah of course that seven eight races now they've had this season and uh yeah to not be off the podium to not have any bad luck any bad legs at any point is a phenomenal start to any season Career best, first elite UCI cyclocross podium for Great Britain's Zoe. Let's look back at the highlights. You've got to say, and you look at this, if you weren't with us at the start, that was where Cameron, made, look at the wheel, front wheel of Cameron Mason got pringled as Ian Fields managed to describe it. And that shows when we, uh, we were getting excited as that ride, as it went on, where he came back from. Early pace setter though, was Tom Vanderbosch. It was about pacing that ride today. And as Pim Ronha said in his post-race interview, Eric told him not to do anything. Yeah, we've seen some very fast starts from Pim uh, this year, but he held back and then eventually put in this stinging attack on the hardest section of the course. And he said directly he went away from all the others and then from then on riding his own tempo to the line. But uh, yeah, we saw a huge battle for that second place in the end and feel a little bit sorry for Van den Bosch falling back as the race went on. It, that's your strategy, isn't it? If you're going to go out fast and go out hard the way he did. But that group was all still very much together. I think it was the, it was the mud surfing today from Ron Ha, the technique through that heavy, that, the, that heavy gloopy mud that we saw from Pim really was uh, phenomenal. Lars skipping up those steps two at a time, that made the difference for him for the second spot. Yeah, I felt as though Lars had a little bit more left in the tank when Schweik couldn't distance him on the previous couple of laps when it felt like he was trying to in the real heavy uh, going conditions, but uh, take nothing away from this man today. What a ride from Pim Ronha, his first elite World Cup win. He was in fact second here as an under 23 to Cam Mason. So perhaps a little indication of perhaps where Cam could have, would have, should have been today without that problem <laughs> at the beginning.